If you've been looking for a way to help reverse the look of aging skin, but you'd like to do it with something that actually has some scientific proof, well then today's video is for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about some very interesting things. We're gonna be talking about scientifically backed approaches to reversing skin aging. And it's a big, big topic out there. You only have to spend a little bit of time on any of the social media platforms and it pretty much has just taken over. Problem is with all the lotions and potions and techniques and opinions, some professional and some not so professional, it can get really confusing as to what actually works. And the good news is we actually do have the tools to reverse skin aging and it's important because our skin health and the way it looks is a big predictor of how long and how well we're gonna live. Now, Effectively fighting skin aging using science involves a combination of understanding the underlying biological processes using advanced skincare techniques. And of course we know things like stress, diet, exercise, and sleep habits, things I talk about here on the channel all the time, really do impact your skin's health. I want to share these scientifically proven strategies that I'm still using here at 59 years old that I've been using since my early 20s. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am. I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert helping people like you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. All right, so let's jump right in. And the first scientifically proven way to reverse and prevent skin aging is going to be protecting your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. And I can hear the groans out there. Yes, I'm gonna talk a minute about sunscreen because it is super, super important. First and foremost, you should always endeavor to wear a sunscreen, cloudy days or not cloudy days, of an SPF 30, reapplying it every two hours when you're actually out in the sunlight. Even the most recent randomized independent studies have shown that people who use sunscreen on a daily basis stop their skin aging and found that the participants who wore sunscreen every single day, their skin had not aged at all in four and a half years. Not only that, these studies have shown that at week 12 of using sunscreen on a daily basis, your skin actually begins to reverse the damage and repair your skin cells, which in simple terms means that not only wearing sunscreen every day helps protect your skin from aging in the future, it actually reverses some of the skin aging you've accumulated already. Now, I know when it comes to safety about sunscreens, there's a lot of conjecture out there and a lot of confusion, and I've looked at even the latest studies, and those studies continue to show no negative effects when chemical sunscreens are used on humans. I know a lot of people prefer mineral. I like mineral too. The most effective type of sunscreens we have today are actually hybrids where they combine some of the chemical sunscreen along with mineral sunscreen. Now, chemical sunscreens do a better job of protecting your skin from the sun because they're absorbed. However, mineral sunscreens also can do a good job. The problem with them is they're not quite as effective because it's hard to get a good coverage with a mineral sunscreen and they tend to wear and wash away or sweat away much faster. So you need to reapply a mineral sunscreen more often. I myself opt for mineral sunscreens whenever possible, but if I'm going to be out in the heat where I'm going to be sweating or I'm going to be at the pool or the beach, I'm going to opt for a hybrid. This one is by Dermatology. It's a really good one. There are many out on the market today. You need to wear sunscreen. And which sunscreen is better for you to use? The one that you will use. Now let's talk about the pathobiology of skin aging. In intrinsically aged skin, that means anybody over 30, the quality of collagen decreases and the structures of your skin where it comes to elastin and collagen start to accumulate abnormalities. In skincare, we call that stretching, sagging, and crinkling and wrinkling. Some studies have even estimated that in adults over 80, they have 75% less collagen than is present in the skin of young adults. The good news is that independent studies, some as recently as this year, which I've talked about on the channel, have proven the ability of collagen peptides in the diet to actually improve collagen levels by 30% in an eight month period, strengthen elasticity, raise the moisture levels in your skin and decrease fine lines and wrinkles, not just on your face, but all over. And perhaps one of the most fascinating studies that we've seen come out on collagen peptides was performed on a group of burn unit patients where half were given extra protein because collagen peptides are a protein 
and the other half given hydrolyzed collagen peptides of 36 grams per day. And what they found was that the patients who received the collagen peptides had a much higher increase of wound healing in a much faster fashion, about 40% faster than those who had just received the protein. So what are collagen peptides actually? Well, they are chain amino acids. They are the building blocks the body uses proteins to repair and regenerate tissues in the skin. Obviously we know what those tissues are, but there are 19 of these amino acids that are the building blocks of collagen and elastin in your skin. So that would be the reason when taken in the diet on a daily basis, we have seen these improvements in those burn patients and in those skin thickness studies. Now you can get peptides in tablet form, but most people take it like this in a hydrolyzed powder. That's what I use. I take 20 grams of these every single day in my diet. I've seen the same beneficial effects in my own skin that were listed in those studies, including some lifelong chronic dry skin issues that I've had. So now let's scientifically supercharge skin regeneration through the use of topical products. And the first one on the list is going to be retinoids. Now retinoids encompass everything from retinol, over-the-counter retinol esters, all the way to prescription strength retinoin. Retinoids are a derivative of vitamin A, very, very powerful and very, very effective in skin repair and regeneration. They pretty much can accomplish everything anyone would ever, ever want in a topical skincare product from helping to boost collagen production, repairing vein structure, increasing blood flow, and providing more oxygen and nutrients to your skin, speeding up cellular turnover, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles, thickening and plumping your skin, erasing age marks, and in the case of prescription strength tretinoin, actually able to repair sun damaged DNA and skin cells and been shown to be able to help remove precancerous skin cells. That's a lot of power in a skincare ingredient. But the drawback to retinol is that it can be very irritating to the skin as the skin has to acclimate to the chemical process of getting the retinoic acid down into the skin layers where it can be used. So people with sensitive skin oftentimes have a lot of issues with trying to use any sort of retinol, whether it's a retinol ester over the counter or a prescription strength retinoin. The good news is we now have alternative products that use Bakuchiol, like this by Verst, or even retinaldehyde, which is a very gentle form of retinoid that goes directly into the skin without that chemical process, giving the same beneficial results as prescription strength retinoin without all the irritation. It just takes a little more time. Now, I will be putting a link down below in the video description box for these products that I keep mentioning here in the video today so that if you want to check those out when we're done you'll be able to do that so you don't have to write anything down just check the video description when we're done here now when it comes to the study and clinical trials of the effectiveness of retinol on skin they've done many many studies it's been around for about 40 years so its effectiveness kind of speaks for itself but in those studies the folks who were using the mildest type of retinols which are the retinol esters showed a 30 percent improvement in their wrinkle scores in just 18 weeks. That's pretty significant. So bottom line, retinoids work. The next thing we want to think about and consider when it comes to a scientific approach to reverse aging the skin is making sure skin stays hydrated. Now we produce hyaluronic acid in our skin. Many of you probably heard of that. It's on almost every moisturizer these days, known for its ability to attract a thousand times its weight in molecular moisture, which makes its role in the health of our skin ultra important. And like everything, when we get older, we tend to produce less and less of it. Now, as I said, hyaluronic acid is in many, many skincare products. This is one of my favorites. This is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Water Gel. It is a humectant formula that contains a lot of hyaluronic acid. And for those of you who live in dry climates, that's important important because hyaluronic acid can go both ways. If you live in a dry climate, it can actually take moisture out of your skin, leaving it much drier. So you always want to use a product that has those other humectants like glycerin and dimethicone in the formulation. So check your labels before you use hyaluronic acid on your skin. We also have polyglutamic acid, which operates in a similar way, but it's a polymer. So that it actually creates a film on the skin. It attracts 8,000 times its molecular weight in moisture and yet doesn't dry the skin out and will not pull moisture out of the skin. So for many of us these days, polyglutamic acid is really the best choice. Now, polyglutamic acid is a lot more expensive to produce than hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a salt. 
polyglutamic acid has that polymer component to it, but you can get polyglutamic acid relatively inexpensively as a serum. This one is by the Inky List. It's one I use. So if you've been having trouble with hyaluronic acid products and serums, you might want to test out polyglutamic acid and I'll bet you find it works a lot better for you. And then it's important we talk about the skincare acids, the BHAs, AHAs, alpha hydroxy acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid being a BHA, all of these very, very important because they help speed up cellular turnover. As we get older, our skin cell turnover slows down and that starts at 20. That doesn't wait until we're in our 30s. And it begins to create a microscopic layer of dead skin cells that lead to that textured look of skin, enlarged looking pores, extra oiliness. It can contribute to acne breakouts. And of course, it keeps your other skincare products from penetrating correctly and working as well. So it's important to use those acids as designed to help lift off that old dead skin layer and speed that cell turnover back up. All of these acids work very, very well, tend to be fairly inexpensive. This is one by Alpha Skincare. It's my favorite, 14% glycolic acid. But you can find these ingredients in formulations in almost every single brand as an exfoliator product, these can make a significant difference, not only in the texture of your skin and the way it looks, but again, how well your other skincare products are going to be able to work for you. Now, obviously there are some other significant tools out there that can help you reverse skin aging in office treatments like laser treatments, Botox and fillers. I talk about a lot of those on the channel. Supplementation of things like vitamin K2 and nicotinamide, all scientifically proven to help improve the health of your skin, keeping it and you living longer and healthier. So be sure to check out this video coming up next on how simple vitamins can help you reverse skin aging. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.